module lesson. Unit two, lesson four. Learning targets. I can identify the determiners that match with each noun picture card. I can research information about pale male using the text, what's best, the debate about pale male's nest. This is our determiners anchor chart. A determiner is a word that helps the listener understand which thing you are talking about. Near is close to us. That would mean we would use words like this or these. Now, how do I know when to use this or these? You will use this if the noun is singular, which means only one. You will use these if the noun is plural. There are more than one. Far in the distance means things that are far away. And those determiners are that and those. That for a singular noun, only one, and those for plural nouns, more than one. Let's play a game. I'm gonna show you some determiners. This, that, those, these. Now, I'm gonna to introduce to you the noun picture cards. The dotted lines are showing us that it's far away. Feathers, eggs, house, eyes, wing, bird, bird feeder, chairs. You ready to play? Let's do it. All right. I'm going to turn over a noun picture card. Then you have to figure out which determiner matches. Hmm. Eggs. Well, eggs is more than one, so that means it. That means it's plural. Well, those dotted lines, what did those dotted lines mean again? Oh yeah, that it's farther away. So what was the determiner that we could use for far away and for more than one? That's right, those, those eggs. Next noun card. Ooh, wing. And it's far away because the dotted line. Well, there's only one. So that means that whoop, it's that, that wing. Eyes, that's plural, more than one. So if we had more than one, we'd either say these or those. Are they close up to us or are they far away? Well. I don't see any dotted lines, so that means they must be close up, which means we're talking about these eyes. Next up is our bird feeder. And that dotted line shows it's, it's far away. And is there more than one bird feeder? Right, no, there's just one. So that means we're either going to use this or that. And it's far away, so we're going to say that bird feeder. Next, now picture card. House. Hmm, I don't see a dotted line, so it makes me think it's close up. And there's only one, so it must be, you guessed it, this house. Chairs. That's more than one. Which determiner went with more than one? Those or these? Well, it's not far away, so it must be, you guessed it, these chairs. Wow, there's a dotted line. What does that mean? It's far away, you got it. So we have, Feathers. Is it going to be this feathers or those feathers? 
write those feathers because it's plural. There's more than one. Those feathers. Last one. Bird. Yes, this bird. It is singular, which means there's only one, and it's not far away. So the determiner is this. Great job. Learning target. I can research information about pale male using the text, What's Best? The debate about pale male's nest. Yesterday, I read this story. And today, we are going to talk about the opinions that were in the story and do a little bit of research. Now, debate. What is a debate? It's a discussion involving people who have different opinions. Well, what were the two opinions about pale male's nest? Right, you could either keep the nest up or take the nest down. I'm going to read the text again, and you're gonna answer a couple more questions for me. Debate about pale male's nest. Hawks in the big city. A special red-tailed hawk named Pale Male and his mate Lola are quickly becoming famous birds. Unlike most hawks who like to nest in trees, these hawks built their nest on a tall building. And it isn't just any tall building. Pale Male and Lola found a fancy apartment building in New York City to use as their nesting place. Bird watchers are watching in amazement as these wild birds make a home for themselves right in the middle of one of the busiest cities in the world. Some neighbors who live in the apartment building are not quite as happy. They think these birds are a nuisance and something has to be done. In the end, the nest may need to be removed. All the bird watchers are angry and upset, but others think it's the right thing to do. There are usually two sides to every story. Bird watchers want what's best for the birds. Leave that nest up, the bird watchers are saying. They think the nest should stay where it is. Birds need nests to protect and raise their babies. Tall buildings are good places for birds to nest because they are similar to trees, a hawk's natural nesting place. Also, the hawks can easily find food in the big city. They love to dine on rats, mice, and pigeons. These bird watchers also think that leaving the nest up is great for the people who enjoy watching wild birds. There are many reasons why these people want the nest to be left up on the building. These hawk lovers will be sad if the nest is taken down. That nest is a mess. Many of those who live in the apartment building want the nest to be taken down. Take that nest down, they're saying. Bones, feathers, and bird poop fall onto their balconies and the sidewalk below the nest. What a mess, they complain. There are other reasons why some people want the nest to be taken down too. The bird watchers who gather to watch the hawks are making the area too crowded. Also, parts of the nest fall onto the sidewalk below, which is dangerous for the pedestrians who walk there. In New York City, it is legal to remove a bird's nest as long as there are no babies or eggs in it. There are no eggs or baby birds yet, and they think Pale Mail and Lola can find a better place to live. For all of these reasons, many people think the city should take down the nest. What do you think should happen to the nest? Now that you've heard the story again, we're gonna do some sentence sorting. We're gonna look at some sentences and we need to decide whether or not they go under leave the nest up or take the nest down. Our first sentence says, tall buildings are good places for homes because they are similar to trees, a hawk's natural nesting place. Now, when I think about this sentence, I try to think for words that might be positive or negative that tell me which I should do, leave the nest up or take it down. And because it says good places, I know that it's for leave the nest up. Ta -da! 
our next sentence. Birds need nests to protect and raise their babies. Hmm. Birds need nests to protect and raise their babies. Well, does that tell me something that might think I should take the nest down? No. It goes with leave the nest up. Let's look at the next sentence. Bones, feathers, and bird poop fall onto balconies and the sidewalk below the nest. Bones, feathers, and bird poop on the balconies. Those do not sound like pleasant things. So which side should it go on? Right, take the nest down. There are other reasons why some people want the nest to be taken down too. Yeah, in the sentence it says, take the nest down. We know exactly there where that should go. Also, the hawks can easily find food in the big city. They love to dine on rats, mice, and pigeons. Easily. Hmm. Something that's easy and they can find the food. So leave the nest up or take the nest down. Are these good things for the hawks? Yes, it is. That's right. So it's going to go where? Leave the nest up. You got it. Next sentence. Also, parts of the nest fall onto the sidewalk below, which is dangerous for the pedestrians who walk there. There's a word in there that's not very good. Dangerous. Yes, things are dangerous. So if it's dangerous, it's probably not a good thing. Which would go with which side? Yep, take the nest down. Lastly, the law says that it is legal to remove a bird's nest as long as there are no babies or eggs in it. Which side does this one go on? I agree, it goes on take the nest down, but why? What in that sentence tells you? Right, it says remove a bird's nest and that it's legal. Last one, the bird watchers also think that leaving the nest up is great for people who love watching the birds. That also says leaving the nest up in the sentence. So we know that it goes on the side for leave the nest up. Now, you have a quiz. You are going to think about the story, listen to the sentence, and tell me whether or not it goes with leaving the nest up or taking the nest down. I'll see you back in part two.